verification of newton's law of cooling using arduino hello everyone the aim of this project is to verify newton's law of cooling using arduino in this project i am using arduino uno board and ds18 b20 waterproof temperature sensor for temperature monitoring so without any further delay let's move into the experimental section this is the arduino uno board breadboard and the temperature sensor that we are using in this project first of all i'll connect the temperature sensor to the arduino using the breadboard you can see that the temperature sensor has three pins a black pin a yellow pin and a red pin the black pin will be connected to the ground of arduino and the yellow pin is the data pin and the red pin will be connected to 5 volt power supply of arduino i'll use a male to female jumper wires for connecting the sensor to the arduino as if like i will connect the jumper wires to arduino then i will connect the sensor pins to this jumper wires i am connecting it now i will connect these two arduino before connecting it to arduino i have to mention that the there should be a resistor between the signal wire and the 5 volt power supply the resistance preferred are 4.7k ohm resistor or 10k ohm resistor here i am using a 10k ohm resistor now i have connected the resistor between these two wires now i'll connect this to the arduino board first of all i'll connect the black wire to the ground i'll connect it to this points in breadboard and i'll connect this to the ground of arduino so that i can use multiple pins now i'll connect the yellow wire which is the data wire to the pin 2 of arduino here i am connecting it to digital pin 2 of arduino now i'll connect the red wire to the 5 volt power supply it is also connected in a similar manner which in which i have connected the ground pin i'll connect it to that point now i am connecting it to the 5 volt power supply so far i have explained how to connect ds18 b20 temperature sensor to arduino actually the circuit is enough for temperature monitoring and verifying newton's law of cooling however i am inserting two leds into the circuit which i use as an alert system so now let's see how to connect these leds to arduino now let's connect the leds to arduino firstly i will connect the red led the negative leg or the shorter leg of the led will be connected to the ground of arduino i am connecting the led to breadboard and i am connecting the negative leg to the ground of arduino the positive leg of the led will be connected to a digital pin on arduino with a resistance here i am using a 220 ohm resistor and i will connect the positive leg of the red led to the digital pin 12 on arduino board similarly i'll also connect a green led to the arduino board firstly i'll connect the negative end of the green led to the ground of arduino as i have mentioned in the case of red led i'm connecting the negative leg to ground and i'll connect the positive leg to the digital pin 13 of arduino with a resistance of 220 ohm you can see that i am connecting this to the digital pin 13 on arduino here you can see the circuit connections for this project the circuit connections are the exactly the same as that of schematic circuit diagram that i have given in the article you can see that the temperature sensor is taped onto the steel mug in which we will take the hot water for temperature monitoring now let's connect the arduino uno board into our computer now the arduino board is connected to our computer i have entered the coding in the arduino ide software you can see it here so now i am pouring the hot water to the steel mug this hot water is for the experiment and this hot coffee has nothing to do with the experiment it's for me in the arduino sketch i have added an is extra if function for working with the leds i have given the instruction that 
if the temperature is greater than or equal to 40 degrees Celsius, then the red LED should be on. And if it is less than 40 degrees Celsius, then the green LED should be on. Now let's see whether the cord is working properly or not. I have taken the hot water in a steel mug and you can see that the temperature is around 78 degrees Celsius. Now let's observe what is happening to the LEDs. Yeah, you can see that the red LED is on, which means that our cord is correct and it is working properly. Let's wait for some time for the water to cool down to 40 degrees Celsius and observe the changes happening to the LEDs. Now the temperature is 40.06 degrees Celsius and you can see that the red LED is still on. And now it is 40 degrees Celsius and still the red LED is on. Let's wait for the temperature to go below 40 degrees Celsius and observe the changes. Yeah, here it is. Now the green LED is on and red LED is off. And the temperature is 39.94 degrees Celsius. So it's clear that our Arduino sketch is correct and it is working properly. Using these temperature measurements, I have verified the Newton's law of cooling and you can see it in the results and discussion section in the article. If you have any queries related to this project, please feel free to contact me. Thank you and bye for now.